You're watching clips, the best moments from our live streams every Monday and Friday. Don't miss out. Watch it. It's Rachel Zegler, and uh, this is yeah. news to me, but I understand from Paulie that Rachel Zegler uh, has done it again. This is a Cosmopolitan uh, yeah. interview that what she the did. Hell? This is, um, for the most part, I'd say 80% of this is very kind of harmless, you know, kind of two two nerds interviewing each other, talking about stuff they like. There's a couple of points uh, there I wanted to hit on and get everyone's reaction on. Uh, so the interviewer asks, oh, interesting. Give us an example of the last time you hid. And she says, last summer. And they ask, why? Because the internet was raging on about something beyond my control. The interviewer says, you got fucking canceled. Here it is. And she wrong. says, yep. yeah, she says, for Thank being you. brown, for having brown skin, for playing Snow White. Oh, there was Jesus. a lot of harassment from a certain group of people. They were showing up at my apartment and screaming profanities. Proof. I want to hear it. I want to see the video. She is so full of shit. If this shit was actually happened, she'd have video of it. With her crying and sobbing, going, do you hear the, do you hear what they're doing to me? Well, you know, that like, that if be. that happened, she actually would have a reason to do so. But uh, well, then yeah. the article right there says number five. Well, doing early interviews about her role as Snow White, Rachel called out the original 1937 movie for its outdated ideas about women, among other things. The backlash was swift and harsh. Well, at least Cosmopolitan <laughs> editorially came in and like basically did a fact check on her. Like yeah, a little bit, a little bit there, a little bit, a little bit. I mean, it, it, it was, it, it was more that she called out, uh, so-called I, I, uh, outdated ideas about romance and about, uh, you know, uh, uh, friendship and love. And she had uh, a response here. Uh, uh, um, th these, these next two parts, you're, you're on your way where I wanted to, in a way it made yeah. it seem like it was, it was tongue in cheek. Then it got to a point where it was not funny anymore, and I really hated ah. myself for something that other people were telling me about myself. But my ability to bounce back from that and still be passionate about the work I did for that project is something I still admire about myself. So she learned absolutely fucking nothing other than that she's amazing. I, I love it how people admire things about themselves. I mean, that's wow. not narcissistic at all. <laughs> it, it would be much better if someone else could admire it on her behalf. You right. know what I love here is they talk about how her, she's been somehow dehumanized when yeah. all these fuckers come out and dehumanize us on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. yeah, but we the 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 basement. Wrong people. Yeah, if she wanted to, if she wanted to modernize Snow White, then she would be an OnlyFans. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Algorithm, algorithm on the wall. Who's the uh, hottest bitch of them all? Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, check out my Instagram photos. I'm sorry, Dave. I can't do that. <laughs> and then you have there kind of goes on in regards to uh, the interview. And I think people are re are really seeing performers maybe because of screens as non-human. It's an idolization, she says, instead of a humanization that strips us oh, of the geez. ability to make mistakes and have control of our own narrative. Who, who fucking talks like this? I came Somebody into an in industry the during the, an era of streaming. So everybody doesn't oh, go to the theaters. They see you on their screens at home and they think they know you because they hang out with you on their couch every day. So I show up to set. I will show up to the show. I will do my job. But that's where the job ends. I don't have any I don't have to maintain appearances of being an ingenue where I'm on the street every day. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh, poor Vu. Huffing her own. Jesus. An ingenue. I, oh, I'm an ingenue. Jesus Christ. She's got it so rough. Just so rough. Yeah. I don't know if you've had that experience where people expect you to be on 24-7 and want to chat and have a conversation because I've had a negative reaction from the general public at times. No, really? I don't know what people are thinking when they point to me on the subway. If I'm passing the pizza place on certain streets, I don't want to be gawked at because that's actually not the job. You know what I mean? Gawked at? She's a moron. <laughs> Wow, That's has crazy. she never seen a celebrity before and know how mm. people react to celebrities? And what yeah. it's wow. all about? I didn't sign up to be a plastic. No, nobody said you're going to get punched or anything like that. Yeah. You know what? Hold anytime, apart, but... anytime I've heard an actor say this, the opposite mm -hmm. is actually true. They love being recognized. Absolutely. And they miss well, it when it stopped. Yes. And, yeah. and absolutely. 
and, as the you lockdown know, showed us. And a couple couple more things about this, Andre uh, and guys, is that um, obviously we know she she's done more than just her job, so to speak, right? In regards to her interviews, her red carpets, what she says. So she doesn't just show up and be a Jenna Ortega. Give me a break. Give me a break. Okay? Because what she's describing here is Jen, how Jen Ortega approaches her career, her respect for the career. You don't, you really don't know about Jenna's personal life. I know too much about, about Rachel's. You know what I mean? So, and her opinions. I don't want to know her opinions. Then this also thing the, uh, earlier, which unfortunately uh, Cosmo says in the completely wrong, is that these that West Side Story and The Hunger Games were big hits. Didn't bring up Shazam. Uh, Hunger but Games it, barely was passable, yeah. Right, but I'm talking about like they're saying big hits. Sc think Screaming Millions. That's so. Uh, so yeah, that no, just like uh, West Side Story was a huge flop. Huge flop. Mm -hmm. Huge flop. But, uh, yeah, there's there's just, uh, and it goes on, they talk about, you know, celebrity encounters and, you know, favorite movies, who would you like to work with, uh, which if you care about her or, you know, whatever, but um, I saw those as the real salacious parts and also to her, her, um, her embracing being brown, which kind of started this whole thing years ago when, when she got cast. And no one knew who she was. She did Maria, but you know, we really didn't know the cast members of West Side Story. It was Steven Spielberg's West Side Story. And there was a bunch of unknowns. And Ziegler was an unknown. Very talented. She did a good job. You know, and uh, but it still flopped. When she got cast right away uh, with uh, with Snow White, um, there were certain trolls that did their thing, which that always exists. And so she quit back right away is that I am not going to bleach my skin. And that kind of started the starting here. So.